Given that JTOH notates exact difficulties with numbers, you might assume that, say, difficult is twice as difficult as medium, terrifying is twice as difficult as challenging, etc., but that's actually not true. Weber's law states that the minimum difference between two stimuli needed to detect a difference is a constant proportion, not amount. For example, if you can tell the difference between a 9 and 10 pound weight, you could tell the difference between a 90 and 100 pound weight. But each difficulty as you go up the difficulty chart, adding one or going up one difficulty feels the same no matter how high you are on the difficulty chart. This is because these numbers are actually just a more intuitive way to notate difficulties that actually increase exponentially. Difficulty is of course subjective or opinionated, but let's assume there is an actual actual objective factual way to measure difficulty and that the bottom of each difficulty is twice as hard as the previous difficulty, which makes sense with Weber's law. What feels like the same increase in difficulty is a constant proportion, in this case that proportion is two times. Now to get these correct numbers back to how we know them on the difficulty chart, we can use the equation n equals log base 2 of a plus 1, where n is a notated difficulty on the chart and a is the actual difficulty we determined exponentially. Log means logarithm, which is the inverse of exponential. Basically by using logs, you can plug in various correct difficulties and get the numbers they're notated as in JTOH. Therefore, we can conclude that the JTOH difficulty system is actually logarithmic.